and welcome back to the Restart CBD channel. My name is Shayda and I am the co-founder and CEO of Restart CBD and I am so happy that you have pressed play on this video. You're tuning into our latest video because I'm excited to share with you one of my favorite products. It is the Crafty Plus by Stores and Bickle. This is the little device. It is a handheld herb vaporizer. So if you are someone who is looking to consume and inhale cannabis, but a more healthy alternative to combustion and inhalation of smoke, this is going to be inhalation of vapor. A little bit about Stores and Bickle, if you're not familiar with them, they are a German manufactured company. If you're familiar with Germany, Germany is known for their quality in building and designing things automobiles, other types of machinery, and stores and vehicle with the herb vaporizer. So this is personally one of my favorite brands, one of my favorite products. We carry these here at Restart CBD. Check out our store, check out our website, restartcbd.com if you want to get more details. But really want to make this video just to kind of show you around and help you understand how to best use an herb vaporizer. So I really quickly want to give you a little bit of a walkthrough. So this is the Crafty Plus by Stores and Bickle. There is a larger size that actually allows you to change the temperature called the Mighty Plus, which we have another video on if you're really curious to explore that product. And then from there, there is the Volcano, which you might be even more familiar with because that's like their iconic flagship product. Fun fact, the Volcano is 22 years old and Stores and Bickle is 20 years old. They launched the Volcano as their initial product and found so much success that they launched their brand Stores and Bickle. So we have a video on the Volcano as well, but today, again, we are focusing on the Crafty Plus. This is a handheld herb vape device, so you can kind of take it with you conveniently on the go. This is gonna be smaller than the Mighty Plus, and like I mentioned, it's not going to have temperature changes necessarily. There are different settings, so you basically, once you turn it on, I will show you, you can kind of tap this button, the power button, and cycle through different heating devices. But before we get started with the actual device, I just wanna make sure that we have everything that we're going to need to enjoy today's episode and properly enjoy the Crafty Plus. So this is my smoking device, check, I got that. The other thing that is really important is the flower, the bud. So I have a beautiful strain from Restart. It is called Key Lime Pie always packed with boveda. Of course, we love boveda. It helps keep the terps fresh and the butt fresh. It smells really pie delicious, very key liney. But this is a hybrid strain that basically I'm going to grind up to properly maximize the effectiveness of the herb vaporizer to ensure that it heats all the way around. So if you just take the bud, and you kind of cram it in there. There's so much little you know, nooks and crannies that don't properly get exposed. And when you are smoking in general, if you're using a pipe, you're using a bong, you're using an herb vaporizer, you probably want to invest in a grinder, which we also sell, but you can find them in pretty much any smoke shop, any head shop on the internet. So I recommend a grinder as well. So really that's all you need. You're gonna need your flour, you're gonna need your grinder, and you're gonna need your Crafty Plus. So to kind of walk through this device, this is it. You're going to have this little mouthpiece that swivels out. That's what you're going to essentially inhale from, like a straw. It's not on right now, so you're not gonna see any smoke come out. That is going to be how you inhale. Then the next thing is you're gonna twist this top off and it's going to open. This is where you're going to load in the chamber, essentially that ground up herb flower. So that's kind of you know the two main mechanisms for inhaling, loading, and then in this side is a little poker stick, so you can kind of you know move the the butt around once it gets baked. And also hiding behind there is the power source. So just letting you know if you're like, where is the thing to plug it in? It's right there, tucked right there behind that little stick. And then the last thing to note is the power button. You're going to want to click it on click it off. I will say this is a smart device in the sense that if you leave it on for an extended period, it does auto shut off. So if you're passing it around and it turns off on somebody because they didn't consume it right away, or you just set it down on the table and you kind of forget about it, it will auto turn off. So it will preserve your battery that way and also not overburn your butt. Because basically while this thing is on, it is heating up the flour. And basically the way it works, if you can think about how an oven works, it's going to heat around the product versus like grilling something on the steak, right? So in an oven, you're baking versus a grill, you're torching. Very similar concept with cannabis when you're using 
a pipe or a bong or a joint, you're using fire. So you're using flame. That was my, that was my little like, huh? So we're not using this in this example. So I just kind of tuck that away, but this is essentially baking your herbs. And so I want you to think that is how it's going to produce a vapor versus a smoke. So like I mentioned, herb vaping is a healthier alternative and super fun fact stores and Bickle is deemed as a medical device actually in the European cannabis industry. So that was pretty cool for European cannabis consumers and medical patients who qualify to consume cannabis legally. They have access to purchase flour through the pharmacies. And this is the device that, or this is the brand, their devices are certified for medical purposes. So if you're looking for an alternative to enjoy cannabis, but a little bit cleaner on your lungs and just the whole inhalation experience, really encourage you to check out an herb vaporizer. I recently transitioned. I've been a consumer of cannabis for a long time, over 10 years, and I really like flour. I'm not ready to get flour up. And this is a really great alternative so I can still enjoy flour, but not torch my lungs while I'm in the process. So now that we've kind of walked through the device, I am going to open it. I'm going to load it and then I'm going to turn it on and we're going to smoke it just so you can see and kind of walk through and experience how to actually maximize consuming it. But that's pretty much it. I don't want to turn it on until I load it because you don't, it's going to heat up. It's like hot. It's like, I guess you think about, I was about to say, if you're baking something, you'd obviously want to preheat your oven. This is not a preheat situation. So do not eh, like, do not preheat this or turn it on. So with that said, I already pre-ground some of my key lime pie grinder, pretty straightforward. I'm not going to really walk you through that today because we have other videos on that. But what I'm going to do is, and honestly, this thought just came to mind. I'm going to go ahead and pull this little guy out, save it. And I just realized that I probably can tap the bud down to pack it. So I'm going to load it, not super full. Um, you don't want to like cram it in there but you want to load it up pretty decently. So I'll show you in the video kind of like where I load it up to. And realistically, you're going to get anywhere between three to maybe five or six, like really good inhalations and plumes of smoke. There is a part where you kind of like you, you bake it, you heat it too much and there's just like no smoke, no vapor that comes out. So it's a little bit, you got to kind of play around with it and see what's the best temperature. What's the best amount to pack it? It does require you to kind of play around with it, but I've been using this for a couple days now and I think I've got the hang of it. So this is a little bit the first time I'm realizing that I can do that. That is so fucking smart. So usually I use this end, the little pointy end to kind of clean up when I'm ready to dump it out. But this is really great because it's gonna pack it down in there. Oh my gosh, that is so beautiful. You guys, look, I'm teaching you and teaching myself all at the same time. I love it. That's amazing. Okay, so now it's packed. I'm going to swivel the lid back on and I'm going to click that button and automatically it turns red. So when it's red, it is warming up. You want to wait until it turns green to begin smoking. So we're just going to wait a little bit for it to, you know, turn green. It's ready to go. So it is now green. That means we are good to go. I'm going to turn this little swivel over and I'm going to suck on this like a straw, very slow and kind of deep. It's a little bit hard to explain in a video, but you basically don't want to suck it really fast. You want to kind of drag on it. So that's what's going to happen. So here we go. It worked. I mean, I knew it was going to work, but it did it. It made some smoke. So that's pretty much how simple it is. You basically turn it on. You don't turn it on right away. So that's pretty much how simple it is. You're going to get your advice. You're going to get a grinder. You're going to get your bud. You're going to load it. You're going to pack it with that little end piece. And then you're going to turn it on. You're going to wait for it to turn green. And then you're going to enjoy an inhale. So give me a couple moments. I'm going to enjoy this before it auto turns off on me. Oh yeah, that's nice. Also this very delicious flavor. I love smoking a CBD at the end of my day because it's not so intense that I feel 
you know, out of it. Like if I'm consuming something with super high THC, it's just a nice little chill because I'm about to go cook some dinner and get some more work done because I got some stuff to take care of. But that's pretty much the Crafty Plus from Stores and Bickle. Like I said, we do carry this at Restart CBD. If you have any questions about this device, about their other products, please drop them in the comments below. This is honestly the top of the line brand. I love their products so much. I cannot recommend them more. They are definitely on the little bit more pricey side, but if you're somebody who is serious about herb vaping, this is the brand that you definitely want to try. I use all their products and I've never been happier herb vaping with Stores and Bickle. Okay, that is it. That is the Crafty Plus from from Stores and Bickle. I hope you learned something new. I hope you are enjoying this device. If you have purchased it and you're just maybe curious kind of how to use it, what's the best practice. Like I said, it is going to take a little bit of acclimation just because everybody's, you know, use is a little bit different. The flower can affect it, how you pack it, how much you pack it, all those things are considerations. But if you're looking for kind of an entry level herb vaporizer, you just want to get something going. Stores and Bickle is the leading brand. This is a leading product to try if you want to just test out herb vaping. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for tuning into another episode on the Restart CBD YouTube channel. Make sure you hit subscribe if you liked these videos and you want to be alerted when we release new ones. Drop a comment below if you have any questions for us or anything that could be further answered from today's video. Make sure you check us out on Instagram at Restart CBD. We're obviously here on YouTube. We have a website as well, RestartCBD.com. And if you're ever in Austin, Texas, come on by and see us. Okay, bye y'all.